The anchor was a much more daunting process. For the, the sheer scale of Titanic center anchor, which was the largest of the five anchors that were supplied to Titanic. Titanic, of the kind of ship she was, she was issued with the hull's painted anchor. She had two side anchors, which one was seven and a half tons in weight, and the other side anchor was eight tons in weight. But the largest anchor was the center anchor, which sat on a small little well on the tip of the bow's forecastle. You had an anchor that weighed 15 and a half tons. At its time, the largest anchor ever produced in the world. And then the anchor, as a complete assembly, was then painted. Unlike the anchors for Olympic and Britannic, which were, which were manufactured, Titanic's was unique as it was the only anchor that had the Hingley Netherton painted on the shank. This was largely to, due to Noah Hingley's being unpleased, as it was, with White Star Line for not advertising Olympic's anchor fully back in 19, 1910. So Hingley's decided to take it in their own stride and advertise their work with Titanic's anchor. Uh, the transporting of Titanic's anchor was originally going to be in March of 1911, but due to some unforeseen circumstances, there was a slight delay in getting the anchor and the anchor trans and equipment finished in time to be sent to Harlem the Wolf. So in the end, the, the anchor was actually tested and finally approved and certificated on April the 29th, 1911. The Hingley Works then passed off the job including Lloyd's Proving House and the job for transporting the anchor was arranged by the Hingley company and they was using WA Ree who were a company based in Great Bridge in the West Midlands. They supplied a 25 ton cart more professionally known as a dray which could withstand the, the pressure of such a large anchor and with the the dray they supplied eight uh, types of Clydesdale Shire horse and these Shire horses were common occurrence on the roads and canals and rivers of Edwardian Britain. Um, so on the day that the anchor was going to leave, which was Sunday the 30th of April 1911, the eight horses had been hooked up and a large crowd of people, after coming away from Sunday service, came down to the Hingley Works just before midday to, to see this huge procession taking place. Uh, once they had actually arrived there, Hingley's knew that the two mile journey from the Lloyd's Proving House to Dudley Railway Station required going up a rather steep hill. So Hingley's decided to attach six of their own horses to the lead procession, which brought up to a total of 14 horses. However, the photographs that were taken by the freelance photographer Edwin Beach from Cradley Heath clearly shows the procession with 20 horses. The reason being is that London and North Western Railways, who are based at Dudley Railway Station brought down six of their horses to help with the procession and once they got to the Hingley Works one of the Hingley workers turned around and said you can take those poor specimens back meaning too that their horses and the WA Re horses could he easily handle the job and each one of these horses weighed around about one ton each and could pull it easily twice their own body weight so the London and North Western Railways horses were then attached to the head of the team once everything was checked and the anchor had been secured down properly, there was um, a, a, a toot from a whistle at the, at the Hingley Works opposite to the Lloyd's Proving House and the procession began. The journey of two miles was over cobbled streets and uphill and through Dudley Town Centre. And to do this, the local authority had to cancel trams that were running and the market had to be pushed to one side. So the anchor could easily pass through Netherton and through into Dudley and through the Dudley Marketplace up to Castle Hill where Dudley Railway Station was situated. The streets would have been lined with literally hundreds of people and it was a, a huge event for the townsfolk of both Netherton and Dudley. It was indeed a huge event, nothing like this had happened before.
the disaster that befell the Titanic in April 1912 was a night to remember. The event that occurred one year before, in May of 1911, when the world's largest anchor for the world's greatest ship was pulled from Noah Hingley Works via 20 shy horses, with streets lined with hundreds of townsfolks, was, for the people of the West Midlands and the Black Country, a day to remember. And a day it was. When the anchor finally got to Belfast, it became one of the key ingredients for the building of Titanic. And it sat there at Harland the Wolf, waiting for the day when Titanic was ready to be launched.